Okay, so I've die cut everything out already. So I did have a little bit of a change of plan when I was die cutting out. I thought maybe this would look great if I mixed and matched some of the papers with this faux leather look here, the pink faux leather and um, and everything. So I'm going to take this out. I'm going to pop this back into the envelope and I can use this again. Or you can keep it with, with the pack of papers. So that's what I do there. If I get any extra dies, uh, die cuts I will pop them in there so everything here has been um, scored already if you do have any trouble here folding this over sometimes it wants to fold where this embossed score line is so if you do have a little bit of trouble especially if you're using a thick a thicker cardstock this this cardstock's okay this paper is okay so I can just quickly do that but if you have a thicker cardstock just go in there with your scoreboard and uh, just reinforce that line otherwise you'll be folding it in at the wrong place okay so it needs to be folded I keep this the right way around it needs to be folded below the um, the stitched line it's easier if I do it this way though so we'll work upside down okay I'm gonna use my bone folder as well so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to fold all of the score lines on all of these pieces here. Okay, so we've moved on to the handles now. Everything's folded and ready to go. This bag goes together super fast. So I'm just gonna glue these two together and then set this aside. So what I like is, I'll show you a quick example here, is this handle here. Having two layers will reinforce it, but it will also um, add the pattern underneath because this is white backed patterned paper. If you're using double-sided pattern paper, um, you don't really need to do this unless you want to strengthen it. But let's get this popped together now. So just add your glue. I'm using Cosmic Shimmer. Add the glue along there. Line them up. They're exactly the same size. It's just a simple rectangle shape with some score lines so it will line up nicely. Okay, I'm going to set that aside now just to dry off. Let's pop that over there. Right, let's move on to this one now. So we're going to start off with our side piece and we're going to pop this on just like that. Just a quick dry run. Okay, and we're going to just line everything up just like that. Okay. And if you want to, what would look really good is if you've matched this patterned cardstock here with a uh, cut, die cut it. Oh, I can't talk today do this out of this pattern paper for the side gussets and it will look lovely but um, for me that was an afterthought so I always do things like that afterthoughts are just afterthoughts aren't they so it just means that you'll make a nice one next time right so let's got this together okay so what I'm doing here is I am making sure that my score lines are matching up with the score line for the gusset so this is our these are our base flaps here these will create the bases or the base um, so what you really want is these all to be lined up there and it will all line up at the top as well but it's just that little bit of extra time that you spend lining things up that will give you a really nice neat project at the end Okay, so you should have something that now looks like that. Let's turn it uh, over here. And it doesn't matter which side you pop this on. You can pop it on there, you can pop it on there. So just add your glue to this bottom flap here. And then we can add that to the bag. It's a lot easier adding this lid here, the lid flap, um, whilst this is all flat. Because once you've made it into 3D, it can become a little bit fiddly. Wouldn't this be a lovely wedding bag or a table favour, mother of the bride, gift. Oh, I'm getting loads of ideas now. Okay, so I'm going to add some glue now just to here. And if you want to, you can use tape if you really want to. 
everyone knows I love this glue so that is what I'm using today again this is a funny odd shape so I'm having to put this together like this whilst it's in its 3D shape otherwise if it was an ordinary shape I'd be adding this lying down flat so oh, actually I might get away with this there we go what am I thinking there we go lie that down flat and you can just press that down there we go there goes my brain right let's get all this glued together now so I do have a trick here so this is the front of the bag because the flap goes round like that okay so I want this to be my last flap because it's a nice neat, nice and neat edge if I close it like this you're going to sort of see that when it stands up so even though it's a very small visible thing it's a nice little finishing off detail so I'm adding glue just along the flap there this is the front flap and then we can glue that closed there we go and it's almost seamless due to the like the faux leather pattern on here okay so grab your bone folder and just press everything down and there we have it we're almost done so let's sort out the handle and then I'm going to be moving on to the fastening now if you have metal and um, like the real handbag metal stuff you can actually use those on these bags um, use a hot glue gun for that but I'm just going to stick with these super slim flat um, velcro if you've been following me for a while you, you know I absolutely love these ones I did have a pack of a hundred I've used them all up so that's how many I've used over the years okay so grab your bone folder and just do that like, like you're curling a ribbon and that will give you the nice curved handle and then we do have these little score lines here that you can just fold upwards like that and then we're going to add glue just to these flaps there these little tabs just on the top side hoping you can see that it's just on the top side there and we're just gonna feed them through the holes now what I've done is I've chosen a contrasting it, it is contrasting it's the same pattern as the main bag I've taken that as the main and then this pattern breaks it up and then we have the main pattern again as an like an accent colour it really does um, it's really pleasing to the eye I think when you do things like that when you break things up like that so as you can see that is absolutely stunning that's perfect mother of the bride gift right there especially if you've got weddings coming up this year um, let's pop these out I have no idea where we are on on weddings and stuff so I'm sure everything is back to normal Okay, I'm going to cut that in half because there's no use um, using the full one because it's 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 going to be far too big and you can get away with having these half the size. Plus, this was like a pack of 18. That's that's doubled if I cut them in half. Okay, I'm going to pop that on there. There we go. Now there is a key to this, right? The first one, there's a few keys. Um, just line everything up before you press down. So you're happy that the lid isn't, or the flap isn't going off to the side. And you're happy that it's straight and then you can kind of press that down, all right? Right, next, we need to lift this up, but very carefully so we're not lifting up. We haven't pressed this down fully, one, because it would squash our bag, and two, we haven't pressed this down fully oh, I can't remember now I can't remember my second point anyway let's lift this up very carefully if you want to you can get a bone folder or a pokey tool just to help you lift this up the bonding hasn't been created because you haven't pressed down because you can't press down because you'll squash the box so we do have to be very careful in lifting this up there we go now want it will want to kind of come away can you see that it's coming away just at the bottom there there we go right so I've got those separated N now we can get our fingers in and give them a good press 
So I know a few people do have a bit of trouble with the um, their Velcro coming off in this manner, but if you're very careful and gently lift it off, press everything down. I've got my hand in there, I'm supporting the back and I'm just pressing that down. So once I've done that, I now have Velcro that is on properly. There we go, that was really easy to lift off and this didn't come off because we've done all of the pressing. Okay, so that is a quick little tip. So that is the evening bag. I absolutely love this. I need to put the lid on this. There we go. Okay, so these are the bags.